Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, it's a brand new week, so excited. As you all know, my favorite day of the week because it's just it just represents newness. You know, it's a new week and a new chance to do uh, to do better, to do more, to do what we need to do. So for those of you who don't know who I am, you've never seen me before, my name is Alita and I basically come on here and I share prophetic words that the Lord gives me through the dreams that he gives me. And today's word is based on a dream that I had on January 8th, 2021. How smooth was that? I didn't have to check. <laughs> um, anyway, friends, um, before I get into the word, as always, Please remember that not every prophetic word is meant for everyone. This particular prophetic word is for a specific group of people. And I really encourage you to take it before the Lord if you believe it's meant for you. Even the people that this word is meant for, it's not for everyone, <laughs> if that makes sense. And for some of you, this may be something that the Lord has already spoken to you about, which is so much better. But I still encourage you to take it before the Lord and pray about it. Let him answer your questions because he has the full story. I don't have the full story. I'm just here to give you um, a hint, a clue as to what God is doing in this season. And really the most important thing is having that relationship with him um, because that's really what matters at the end of the day. I can come on here and share a million prophetic words, but I will never have the full story. And the, the, that's really just the way God wants it to be because he wants relationship with each and every single one of us. So let's get into the dream. Um, so in this dream, I was in a chapel. I remember going into the chapel and then there, obviously there's a left side and there's a right side on the chapel. And um, there were some people, you know, sitting in the front rows, pews, I think that's what they're called. And then my mom was sitting um, on the right side, but at the back, well, not on the last, like um, in the last pew, but more like... Um, just kind of like behind everyone but a few rows behind everyone and then um i remember seeing so i went on to the left side a friend of mine was there he recently got married and then his mom came in and she greeted my mom and then she came to uh, to our side and my friend said to me or said to his mom hey this is um the person that you just greeted is actually elita's mom and she was so excited and she gave me a hug and then she kissed me like really like um close to my mouth like half cheek half mouth <laughs> and i felt very uncomfortable with that because i was thinking corona you know we're not supposed to be doing this we're not supposed to be hugging <laughs> we're supposed to be social distancing and um then, I mean, that's just what was going on in my mind in the dream. And then, because usually I'm I'm very good with hugging people as long as, you know, it feels safe and, and, <laughs> and all right. And then I also noticed that she had very thick makeup on and it was powdery and it was not the right color for her face. And some of that actually rubbed off on me. And then she was telling me stuff. She was just firing away and just telling me, giving me advice. Um... When I woke up, I thought I would remember um, exactly what she was saying because I was so, you know, focused on what she was saying. But I, I, I couldn't retain that information. It just left me. But what I do know is that she was telling me stuff. She was giving me advice. She was, um, I just remember her specifically saying words like, tell them whatever, whatever, you know, and just kind of giving me instruction in a way. And that was the dream. So, um... So this word, let's just get straight into who this word is for <laughs> before I get in, into um, the prophetic meaning around the word. So this word is specifically for those of you who are, um, who God has spoken to about kingdom marriage. And I believe that there are about four categories in the whole kingdom marriage spectrum um, in terms of who this word is for. Um, the first category being those of you who are already married to your kingdom spouse. The second category is those of you who are, you've met your kingdom spouse, you're engaged, you're planning your wedding. That's the second group. Third group would be those of you who God has uh, confirmed who your kingdom spouse is, but you're waiting on him to bring it together. And the last group are those of you who God has promised kingdom marriage to you in this season 
and you are waiting on the Lord to reveal who your kingdom spouse is, to bring it all together. So those are the four categories that um, I believe this word is for, and it's for the kingdom marriages in this season, right? So some of you may have a promise from the Lord that um, you will be married one day, but this may not be your season. The word is definitely not for you in this season, but the word can be for you in your future season when it's happening. So do still listen to the word because um, it will it still applies the 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 word is relevant to you for when your season comes so basically what the Lord is saying through this dream it's a warning it's be careful who you take counsel from in this time who you speak to about your kingdom marriage um, whether you're in a marriage at the moment or you have plans in terms of you know you're engaged and all of that basically all those categories that are mentioned the Lord is saying be careful who you are talking to um, Proverbs 27 verse 6 came up no that's not the one that came up that's the last verse I actually didn't write down the one the one that basically speaks about is in Proverbs I'll put it up on the screen the one that speaks about you know we all need wise counsel it's very very important um, not to just walk things out on your own and the key thing in that scripture is wise counsel wise <laughs> wisdom people that you can trust who know what they're talking about and that doesn't it doesn't have a typical um look because usually we think oh let me go straight to someone who is in leadership in the church that doesn't automatically make them wise counsel um, remember that the Lord has been renewing our minds he's been transforming us by the renewing of our minds and one of the key lessons is not to just assume that because someone is in a leadership position in church just because they're the pastor just because they are a lead elder or deacon bishop whatever titles you have in your church doesn't mean that they they will give you wise counsel doesn't mean that they are wise doesn't mean that they are discerning um, because we all know that the church system as it is hasn't been doing so well it has been failing and God is doing something new even in those spaces so you have to seek the Lord on who that wise counsel is the fact that my mom was sitting um, on the right side and she was alone and she was she was very um, she felt very like grounded and like strong and powerful without being without being in my face and wanting to, to to advise me and give me all this information whereas my friend's mom was very forward and she was you know just firing away and she was hugging me and kissing me and rubbing all her makeup off on me I just felt completely uncomfortable I'm so sorry guys I thought that was on silent I felt completely uncomfortable and what the Lord is saying is just just some people will come across um, as though they are for you and they really have great personalities and they're extroverted and and really just um, charismatic and they'll capture you and, and you think, wow, when they speak, you know, I really want to listen. And the Lord is saying, be careful because not everyone who has that type of energy is speaking the right thing into your life. Not everyone who comes across as though they know what they're talking about, they don't really... Um, always know what they're talking about and um, you really have to seek the Lord in terms of who to talk to and who to allow into that space because they're going to speak into your life into that kingdom marriage situation and um, the crux of the matter is this make sure you're on the right side <laughs> I was on the left side and left and right um, in in terms of dream interpretation can mean a number of things and in this instance it meant um, be on the right side like the right is the right side and um, just just really be cautious about who you're sharing information with um, just trying to think if there's anything else that the Lord wanted me to add before I get into that that last scripture I think that's the word guys that's really the word there's no need to drag it out no need to make it um, no need for me to <laughs> ramble on and on about things but I do want to read Proverbs 27 verse 6 to you it says faithful are the wounds of a friend but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful be careful who you're allowing to speak into your life don't let them rub off things on you they mustn't rub off on you because 
the people that we spend time around can rub off on us and we begin to become like them. We take on certain characters character traits from the people that we spend a lot of time with so it's really important that you are not allowing the wrong type of uh, characteristics or the wrong type of characters to rub off on you you want to be with people that are wise that are going to help you make the right decisions and help you to especially those of you who are still seeking god and confirmation in terms of who your kingdom spouse is you're going to need people around you or a person around you who's going to help you make the right decision at least advise you in the correct way because counterfeits are a real thing and if you're not careful you may end up with a counterfeit spouse and uh, nobody wants to go down that road so it's really really important who you are sharing information with and who you are allowing to speak into your life and to give you advice so friends that is the word I really pray for those of you who this word has been for that it's it's blessing you um, in this time that it that it has blessed you and um, that it's given you some direction and um, helping you to identify those people in your life that you shouldn't be speaking to and it's really it's it, it's such a, a difficult thing because these people can come across so knowledgeable but they really aren't they can come across so wise but they really aren't um, seek the Lord ask him to to direct you to the right people so friends that's it thank you so much for just being here for your support thank you to everyone who donates to my ministry thank you to everyone who just sends me an email just encouraging me and uh, some of you send me emails to challenge me which is great <laughs> I'm really grateful for that thank you for all the amazing comments that you guys leave behind um, yeah that's all and I really appreciate you guys remember that God is such a good father he really is he wants you guys to be successful he wants to see the best for you he wants the best for you because you are so special to him <laughs>